Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and today I'm doing a reaction video to Sid Massacre Anger Video Game Year episode 211. Let's do this. Here we go. <laughs> Sid Massacre presents the Angry Video Game Nerd. What's this? It's really old. It's not big enough. Oh no, not that game. Not Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. <laughs> oh no. It looks angry. A penny. What's this? Oh no! It's a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde statue. That's a lot of games. <laughs> nice. Playing a classic game. Uh oh. <laughs> no. I've done that already. It was almost 20 years ago when I described it as an awful steaming pile of goat shit. And then years later, <laughs> I said my own shit would be offended to lay on this loathsome piece of filth. I went soft on it. Yeah, because there's no way I could sum up this total desecration of the NES library. It's cursed, it's unholy. Nobody wants to play Jekyll and Hyde. I've always wanted to play Jekyll and Hyde. No. <laughs> Someone did. What the? That last review is pretty detailed. I think I told you just about everything you'd want to know, but I didn't actually make it to the end of the game. I mean, how could I? It'd be impossible. What? <laughs> Poster, shirt, game on the floor. I never beat the game, but I'm the nerd. This vocation gives meaning to people's lives, and I can't cut it anymore. I'm unfit. I've lost my faith in the NES library. <laughs> oh! <gasps> Whoa, you're going to die up there. Uh. The fuck? What an excellent day to play some Jekyll and Hyde. Oh, you'd like that. Intensely. How many more years do I have to play this? Until you rot and lie stinking in the earth. Mm. Damn. 
No. Here we go. Let's finish this now. There's not going to be any more Jekyll and Hyde videos. This is it. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, jeez. Dang! What the heck? Wow. That My was opinion fast. has not changed. Yeah! I think so. <sighs> I told you mostly everything, but for a recap, you play as Jekyll on his way to his wedding. That's all he's trying to do, but for whatever reason, every person, animal, and insect is trying to kill him. You have a weapon that can't harm anything except for one enemy in the entire game. The bees. You walk That's slow it? as ass, you get knocked backward by everything, and what makes it extra frustrating is that it doesn't look like it should be that hard. The most no. unassuming townspeople just charge through you, and those spiders, you'd think you could just watch the pattern and go under. But they don't have a no. pattern. It feels as if they're programmed to hit you automatically. Making progress is so slow because every few seconds some guy drops a bomb and you have to start moving away from it. But you either get knocked back into it or it still seems to hit you from a mile away. There's projectiles raining down constantly. You're so busy dodging mm -hmm. you actually forget that they're dog turd piles shit out by birds. Yep. And that pissing fountain sums up the whole thing. I've struggled to explain before how the Jekyll and Hyde transitions work because I still don't fully understand it, but basically you have a life meter and a meter meter. Yes, yeah, some call it the Hyde meter, but the manual calls it the stress meter. And that's the most accurate because this game will raise your stress through the fucking roof. Whenever you get hit, sometimes it depletes your life meter and other times it depletes your stress meter. When the life meter is gone, you're dead. But if the stress meter is gone, you turn into Hyde. When you're high, hmm. it's slightly more playable. You have to kill enough yeah, enemies I can to see raise that the meter back up and become Jekyll playable. again. As high, yeah. there's more than one way to die. The most obvious mm -hmm. is if you get hit too many times. But also, if you randomly slip off a wall, you'll also die. And that's what? ultra bullshit. The other thing that can yeah. happen is if Hyde gets as far as Jekyll. So the Hyde world is like some kind of reversed mirrored dimension of the Jekyll world. If Hyde mm. gets to the same spot as Jekyll, lightning will strike and it's yeah, game yeah. over. I guess the idea is that the forces of good and evil are battling over Jekyll's soul. So if Hyde mm. overtakes Maybe. him, that means evil Who has knows? triumphed. Mm -hmm. What were they thinking? They were thinking too much. The sixth <laughs> and final level is the pure definition of hell. No, it's as if there was another hell beneath hell. This is <laughs> fucking insane. There's these rolling barrels that keep on coming. Sometimes you can't even jump over them because you'll get hit by the next one. And sometimes one single barrel can hit you multiple times. Dang. Who's throwing these things? Donkey Kong? <laughs> Most likely. Up, you also have the mad bomber to deal with. And don't you think it would have been reasonable to not have the barrels and bombs on the screen at the same time? How is anybody mm. supposed to get through this? The mad bomber respawns infinitely, which is one of the worst offenses in retro gaming. Oh, but this is the most damn. relentless and merciless respawning I've ever seen. As soon as he exits on the left, he immediately reappears on the right. Oh my lord. Loop. Oh, you could kiss my fucking ass with that. I can't even move. Ugh. You take one step forward and then 10 steps back. 10 steps back. Look at this. In the last 20 minutes, I've only moved an inch. Motherfucker. Damn. If you really want to know why this game is so bad, just try to play the stage. No, 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 don't. Wow. Fuck. 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 Mm, fuck. Mm. <laughs> Damn! It's well, gotta be a way to beat it. Once again, that's about as far as I can get. But wait a minute. Hmm. The Japanese version. The Famicom. I've heard this one has some differences. So, maybe it doesn't have the same bugs. Let's find out. Mainly computer. Oh my god, level one is completely different. I've heard of the different levels, but now that I'm actually playing it, I can say 
It's way harder, if you can believe it. There's people in Windows. Way harder than the original? Got, and it's like navigating through a fucking shitstorm. Level Damn. three is also different. Once again, it's people throwing shit out windows, but you also have the simultaneous bombs and barrels, plus slingshots. I didn't Slingshot. know such a thing was possible. Could it be that these two levels were too shitty for America? That's saying a lot. But anyway, yeah. they didn't just cut two levels. What they did here, they changed the order. They they took to. Let Never me mind. Okay, so okay. here's the Famicom levels one through six, and here's the NES levels one through six. Okay, so level one of the NES version is level uh, four of the Famicom version, uh, which is also Jeez. level uh, three of the <laughs> NES version. Oh my um, level God. Level two of the NES version is level five of the Famicom, which is also level five of the NES version. And then level four of the NES version is level two of the Famicom. And level six is um, still the same. The same. Yeah. Yeah. So if you ever thought the <laughs> NES version was repetitive, that's because there's two levels you play twice. Other things what? you'll see in the Famicom version no that way. you don't see in the NES is mermaids. Yeah, mermaids. Really? The spiders seem to be even more hell bent to kill you. Like I said, there's no pattern. Jeez. Your best bet is to just keep walking and hope to get lucky. Look at this shit. The singing lady Dang. is also programmed in the most heartless and inhumane way. If you have enough coins, you can pay her off. But regardless, she's hard to even get near. Her musical notes keep knocking you back. And even after you've made it to the other side, they still keep knocking you back. Don't you think, by all logic, mm -hmm. once I'm on the right side, it should start knocking me to the right? I even turned yeah, around bored. to see if it would mm -hmm. matter. But no, nope. it still Takes knocks me to the left. It knows. It's deliberate. Some <laughs> asshole actually programmed it to be as inconvenient as possible. <laughs> and the final yep. level, all you need to see is this. Oh my god. The screen from hell. Oh my god. I must confess, I cannot beat this game but I don't want to grow old and have regrets. I'm not coming back in 10 years with Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde re, 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 re visited. No, this has got to get done right here, right now. But Agreed. I need help. But who? There's no experts. Old shitty game design like this is so out of date that even the most modern gaming technicians cannot dissect or even understand how it was made. This type of thing's been discarded these days, except by the most ill-fated shit seekers who keep it in the turd locker as sort of an embarrassment. Wait, what was that I said about growing old? Hmm, well with age comes experience, and this requires experience. I know what to do. It meets the conditions. Really? Letter to his future self. <laughs> he wrote a letter to his future self when he's 80 years old. Oh, he's going back. Back to the future. Back to the past. an honor. Come in. Nerd! <laughs> we should begin. Well, shouldn't I tell you the background of the case first? Why? Well, it's taken many manifestations. There's the NES version, the Famicom version. There is only one. Come. We must gather some things. The game is a liar. But it'll mix lies with the truth to confuse us. It'll attack us psychologically. <laughs> Don't listen to it. 
Uh, it's like what's we call it? Like the doing the Nintendo <laughs> voice. Must use the doors to hide in. What? Let's go in the door. I come right back out. I must time it precisely. Ah, it works. But <laughs> sometimes I can't avoid both the bombs and the barrels. Then you must let the bombs hit you, but not a direct hit. If it's far enough away, it'll deplete your stress meter, but not your life meter. But then it'll turn me into hide. But when you come back as Jekyll, all your life will be refilled. No shit. <laughs> Never try to pass the bomb in. Always walk to the left. Move the screen to the right only when you have the chance. Mm. But that takes forever. When you become as patient and as saintly as me, you'll understand. <laughs> oh. Man, I'm, I get it now. You just gotta keep slowly pushing that screen to the right. Just like inching out a turd. Precisely. <laughs> You got this. <laughs> now, I'll perform the ritual. In the name of Nintendo and the seal of quality and all that is good, I cast this unclean game out. Whoa, 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 what's happening to the bomb? It's stuck under the screen. Well, this game's definitely possessed. Be gone, foul game. Deliver us from this accursed abomination. Your mother sucks cartridges in hell. <laughs> I denounce you, fallen tyrant of unholy game design. I sanction the plastic and circuit board back from the clutches of the vile demonic designer that disguised its evil within. Strike terror to the beast, laying waste to this cartridge. Redeem this game, so it may never be held captive by this unholy shit spirit. <laughs> You'll never <laughs> beat me. I cast you out! <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Dang! Breaking the floor, shaking the room, my goodness! Win. Like fuck, I can't. <laughs> Does he do it finally? There's the chapel. I'm almost there. Oh my god! I'm gonna do it. Yeah. You made it. <gasps> All right. I did it. <laughs> That's not the real ending. What? You missed the final boss. What final boss? It's true. There's a different path. Uh oh. Uh oh. Typical Nintendo Are you game. Me, this game has two endings and a final what? boss? In the manual, it is known as Latul, a mysterious ghost-like demon who appears, attacks, and disappears again. Latul. Latul. Yes. <laughs> ah. Now let us rest before we start again. <laughs> How did they do it? Why did they make a game so bad? What's the point? I think the point of this game is to make us despair, to make us see ourselves as animal and ugly, to make us reject the possibility <laughs> that God may love us. <coughs> <coughs> Nerds. 
<laughs> Good old rolling rock. Dang. You must become Hyde. Take distant hits from the bombs. Make more progress as Hyde to overpass Jekyll. Excuse me. I thought Hyde reaching the same spot as Jekyll was bad. You're going to endanger us. Not necessarily. There's actually a very small chance we'll survive. Really? By taking the rooftops as Hyde, you can bypass Jekyll, thus evading the lightning blasts. No <gasps> shit. So I got to beat the game as Hyde? Exactly. Really? You got this. Almighty Nintendo, who created this library of games and who gave third party powers to those who have tarnished it, give us pity, pardon our sins, and give us the strength to conquer this infernal game. Uh, <laughs> here we go, the top bird. Oh, whoa, 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 don't fall, don't fall. Be gone, mm -hmm. hostile being. You are guilty <laughs> for those you have tortured, guilty this for the good. souls of the entire human race. <laughs> Damn me. Oh, oh, there oh, it is. It's the final boss. I, I never thought I'd see this. It's the final boss of Jekyll and Hyde. In the name of Nintendo, it is they who <laughs> command. They who will judge and compel you. Uh, <laughs> uh, Nintendo power so far. compels you. <laughs> Get nerd, Nintendo get. power compels you! Nintendo <laughs> power compels, compels you! you! Nintendo power compels you! Uh. <laughs> Not much there. Nintendo <laughs> power compels Compels you! I see you. <laughs> Nintendo power compels you. <laughs> yeah, I ride! Oh. You did it! I did it! I did it! It's back. Oh. Oh no, no. I, I still have to play as Jekyll? Wait. Oh, There's you're going the straight enemies. to the tomb. I guess now None. that the boss is defeated, the enemies are gone. Oh, wow! I can just walk through? I can just walk through. Wow! Oh, wow, check that out! Game over! Alright! This is it? The true ending of Jekyll and Hyde! There's the bride! You actually see her! And she walks just as slow as him! Boy, these two are made for each other. You know, I've never been more happy to see two video game characters get married. You know, good for him. Now Thank what's God gonna he made through all that. Sure, he showed up covered in bomb ashes and bird shit, but he made it! He's not gonna end up in the fucking doghouse again! He did it! And fuck all those townspeople who tried to stop him! Fuck them and fuck this game too! I did it! I beat Jack yeah. and Hyde! Yeah! <laughs> What the? What's this? <laughs> uh oh, the priest. Yeah. Don't tell me. <sighs> you didn't beat the Famicom version. Oh the no. The Famicom version has a different ending? Uh, what? Oh, no, no, I'm not doing it. You ain't gonna hide from this one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck you! Uh, oh, is it just a man Okay, okay. Really? Wow. Dang! Yeah, I beat it. Now where's the difference? Where's the difference? Show me! Where's the difference? 
What's the difference? It all looks the one? same. Where is it? Where? Where? Oh! There oh, it is! She's there it is! Is there. Yeah, she's in a different dress before the wedding! Wow. There's the difference, you fuck! <laughs> 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 we got Nintendo cartridge alone. Take me, take me. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Ooh. Ow. Ooh, where's he at? Ooh. Ow. That's a lot of stairs. <laughs> Oh, that was good. That was good. He finally beat it. <laughs> Got a little exorcism in there. Oh, yeah. Back to Future in there. Finally see him beat the game. Tw tw typical. Got to do it twice. And, well, actually four times. You caught the family conversion. But, man, that was really good. That was very good. And I enjoyed that episode. I can't wait to see 212. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I really enjoyed it. Uh, shout out to everybody that sends the best care of right? James, Mike, and all them. James, Mike, and uh, who else was in there? Let me just check the uh, Sean and all them. So they deserve all the credit. Everybody made the video, everybody in it deserve all the credit making that video. They, they deserve all the credit. No, give me credit. Just give me credit on my reaction. That's it. But. Shout out to all of them. Please check out their channel. I'll post a link in the description box below. If you like my reaction, please like. If you like a comment, please comment. And also, if you like my other content, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. I thank all my subscribers for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, and viewing. Without you, I won't be doing these. So, thank you, everybody. Hope you have a safe and wonderful Wednesday. And I will see you next time. Take care. Stay safe. Stay humble. And be a blessing.